You're still watching Ways on Plus TV Africa. Today is World Asthma Day. The theme for this year is uncovering asthma misconceptions. Um, the aim is to clear misconceptions to the complications of asthma. According to WHO, this day is a major public health importance because in 2016, it was predicted that more than 339 million people had asthma globally. World Asthma Day is observed to raise awareness about the disease and how it can be controlled with proper treatment. Asthma has a long-lasting effect on an individual and it causes difficulty in breathing due to the narrow airways in the body. Mm. I think this is an important one to commemorate as well. Um, their aim for this one is to be able to raise awareness regarding the misconceptions and um, some of the misconceptions I found ranges from people thinking asthma is a childhood disease um, and that an individual can go out of it. And what I saw is that you can actually get it at any time in your life. Like if you don't have it um, as a child, it does not mean you might not have asthma again. And the other one is saying people with asthma or people living with asthma cannot exercise. And they're saying, no, once you to control it and take care of yourself you can actually have a healthy exercise that can also enhance your living you know so the aim is just to take away those misconceptions and ensure that um they live healthy lives and they get the attention they deserve as well that's great yeah i, mean, I think another one i heard was mm -hmm. that it can only happen to women and not to men really, really? i heard that recently i heard that hmm, thinking while about back. it i'm not sure i've seen a man with asthma. With asthma, I have You have great. Little boys in school. Okay, little boys. I actually okay. haven't. Funny enough, when I was growing up, it was boys. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, For you. I've, yeah. all, I've, all, I've only boys. known girls with girls it. Girls with asthma. Yet. I think that's where the misconception actually came from. Mm -hmm. But as I grew older, I got to know. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It can happen to anyone. Not gendered. No, not at all. So people also think it's infectious and it's actually. No, it's not. not. So it's not. It's yeah. totally so, not. Um, I guess we've done justice to clearing some misconceptions, <laughs> right? Um, so, Isi, what did you find for us in the news? Oh, in the news today, I didn't want to take anything that had to do with Nigeria because of my mental health. Mm -hmm. But I still have something bad to talk about, oh, which wow. has to do with the divorce of um, Bill and Melinda Gates. <laughs> I mean, if, if I had all that money, I would, I would go for, I would divorce him. Uh, perfect. Is it about money? Ah, uh, no, I, I won't. I won't because I think she also has a, her own of money. Of course, well, of course. But the key thing here is that. They got divorced after 27 years of marriage. They're about to. They can change their mind. Though. I don't think so. <laughs> because it, it was a joint agreement. Well, you know? And this also happen. happened with Jeff Bezos when he, yeah. they both decided to go their separate mm. ways. But after there was a third person in Jeff Bezos' case. After uh, I mean, alleged, alleged third, third person. person here yeah. Too. Really? But, but it's not clear. Okay. No, the story is not that this third person is the reason. For of course, that was what Jeff said as well. It's not the reason. The, the story here is that it's um, they have an agreement. It's exactly. an, like an open kind of situation where okay. you know the other partner, that's Melinda Gates, knew about. Like mm -hmm. I think he even wrote it in their marriage agreement or something. Mm -hmm. Like he takes a weekend off to be with that person periodically. So it's been happening for a while. Marriage. Yeah, so oh, that's why okay. I, I feel like it's not like this is why. Oh, you know, mm -hmm. so they've been in an open right relationship now. all the while. I, open I, marriage. I don't know if they. You know, they define it as that, mm -hmm. but there's it looks like a that. knowledge that like there's it. somebody somewhere, and if I need some space, I get my I, space. Oh, really? Well, yeah, wow. I mean, I want that so, still. I mean, when yeah. you have money, you can do I anything, do. really. <laughs> when you have I think it's money, you both can ways. Do I, I'm not saying I think it was a mutual agreement between both of them because mm -hmm. if he wanted his space, she would also yeah. want her space. Mm -hmm. as well. I think it's a mutual agreement. Although for mm -hmm. her, I, we, we've not heard that there's somebody anywhere, mm -hmm. you know, with her. I'm just really mm -hmm. happy for both of them because I feel like, I mean, 27 years is a long time. It's Jeez. time to retire and go find your life, do something else. Is that how they retire in marriage? I'm telling you. When you're yeah, rich, I'm you can. You yes, me. now. Wow. <laughs> Uh, this must die the there. See, this, whether they are together <laughs> or not together, okay, it's not affecting the price of crayfish in my my, 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 my own oh, is the hot text I'm seeing on Twitter it, and it's social media. It's going to affect a lot of things because being in a what way? Gates Foundation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They said they um, keep no, running they said they keep it. running it together. To it's but but it's you possible. know why the, the, there was that joint statement, right? Mm -hmm. It was basically to calm down investors mm -hmm. and a lot of people whose donors and co donors people. This country's we'll wealth is connected to, to them, it, you know, to, to it because whether you like it or not, there's going to be a lot of restructuring. Absolutely, right now, um, he has dropped from the fourth richest 
person mm-hmm. to I think number ten or so mm-hmm. based mm-hmm. on what just on happened. Yeah. Hours that this whole thing has dropped. <laughs> Melinda so taking his money. I still don't care. Like it's not going to affect mm-hmm. me like that. Not personally, anyway. Anyway. I mean, so, oh, yeah. Yeah. so really when awesome. I see the whole hot takes on Twitter, oh, oh, um, Marsha, inspiration, this is what I like. 65 years old, come on. I don't, I don't. 65 years old. There's a man in the world, I don't care. And he's 90. Is, and she's wow. 56. So, wow. I think, but whatever it happened, whatever happens going forward, I think they they did it in a matured way mm-hmm. and it was a, a mutual agreement between both of them to go their separate ways because mm. they said that they can't grow together anymore. It's just so like it's, um, it's, it's just um, like important. Their separate ways. For Absolutely. Now, what did you find for us? In yeah. <laughs> well, uh, it, it's unfortunate, mm. you know, stepping away from all that hot juicy take about Bill and Melinda Gates. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> let's come back to our own reality for mm-hmm. a moment. So um, I don't know if you remember some 50... But 55 days ago, to be specific, really? um, some students were abducted from their school. That's uh, the Greenfield Extreme Organization. No, not Greenfield. Oh, okay. Ooh. In Afaka, okay. in Kaduna. And, well, it's almost two months. And unfortunately, they, a lot, quite a number of them are still in captivity. Mm-hmm. Um, today, earlier in the morning, um, the parents, the teachers, you know, concerned people, they stormed the National Assembly in protest because they feel like it's about time. It's about time. Um, you know, Kaduna State has been in the news of late <laughs> because of the, you know, uh, consistent kidnappings and banditry and all sorts of things going on in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but right now, the issue is that the governor is insisting that he will not negotiate with, you know, kidnappers. Mm. And we saw the result of that. We saw the Greenfield students, you know, uh, three of them were murdered. Murdered. Yes. And um, now the, the bandits are threatening to even murder more, more, you know, if they don't get the ransom demand. So right now, the parents are very worried, you know, they still have these kids in, in I mean, it's almost in captivity. Two, in captivity for over two months. I saw a video <sighs> of one of the parents today. She was crying. And I feel mm. like, I mean, I, I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't think I want to imagine what it feels what like it, what to not know, to know that your child is. has been kidnapped mm-hmm. and feel powerless, feel like you can't do anything because you don't even have money for ransom. And the security agencies or the security forces and, you know, people who are supposed to do that job don't seem to be doing anything. Like it feels like they're playing it. politics with the whole thing. If not that there was a social media outrage, the mm. governor of that particular state would have mm. been in Lagos this weekend, this past weekend, to come and talk at one platform or the other. But thank God for social media, he could I mean, he had to not come for the event because mm. we're saying that, hey, your state is under fire. Why are you busy well, gallivanting? We don't want to hear you. We want to see you do but something. Has, Get these children that's out. That's not different from what Buhari has done, the president. Oh, Buhari well, let me not done, even go there. You know? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's not go there. <laughs> but um, very quickly, what I found is um, Yahaya Bello saying, APC has performed beyond PDP 16-year achievements. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> security. Uh, where, do you want to start from security? <laughs> I'm, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to say anything. I would just take one to it or two okay this one is from at major wheels he says yes they performed in brackets negatively beyond failure expectations on our economy security and livelihood if only failure was a party it should have been apc uh they bring new and shocking bad news like no other and now we are all licking our wounds um okay if i take more there might be a problem but the reactions um, is is just not nice, and I feel what they feel because um, you can't. People from your party cannot say in, in one breath that you can't do anything because you're cleaning up the rot that PDP has caused for over 16 years, and then come back to say you have done a lot mm. um, more than um, they have That's done. It, it, it's Come it's on. not working. It's it's, it's talking from both sides of the mouth. So. Um, hopefully they get their act right and s- get to work if because I they may. promised us a lot and I I'm may. still hoping to I see. I remember when they, they said when they Buhari said change. was no they said Buhari was gonna take care of security and Oshibanjo mm, was gonna take care of, of the economy. They are doing they're oh. doing just that. And here we are. How much is dollar again? Mm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm. The economy indeed. I saw the mm-hmm. news today, I, I saw that our foreign reserves mm. has dipped 
again, again in two weeks, over 300 and something million dollars that we've lost in two weeks of foreign reserves. <laughs> Let's not even look at the Chinese loans and how much our, I don't know, like fifth generation will still be paying those loans. If we'll be able to pay back. So yeah, security, <laughs> mm. We're still on it. It's time for. <laughs> it's time for a break. We asked for. Oh it wasn't God. this one? It wasn't. <laughs> but it's time for a break. When we come back, we'll dive right into the conversation. Oh. Hmm.